We're going to go Lando here on Thunderbolt. And we're going to obviously expect the very, very super obvious Terra Blast Ice as they've been doing a billion times. Today we are using Choice Band Sneasler in the new Pokemon Home meta for Scarlet and Violet. I'm so excited. If you guys are enjoying Pokemon Home, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and also sub to the channel as I'm on my way to 400k. Now this team was given to me by Ozma and Poison Touch plus Dire Claw is so nasty. Dire Claw is already a busted move because it has a 50% chance to sleep, paralyze, or poison the opponent. And I'm just going to start off with Sneezer, honestly. I'm literally going to start off with Sneasler, and basically the idea is you turn around, you bring out all these busted mons. Now, I don't want to go hard into Landorus, so I'm going to make the Heatran play. Whether they Volt Switch or not, we get to find out. That's Specs damage, uh, because I am Special Defensive Heatran, so really nice that we get to find that out immediately. Obviously, they can Ice Punch here if they really want to. Uh, I'll still end up going Lando once, because I can Volt Switch versus their team since they have zero ground type, so uh, this works out for me. Um... I'd rather not take the Ice Punch. I actually think they're going to go Enamorous, and I want to use that to get in my Sneasler. Exactly. So this is great. So I can bring out my Sneasler here. Now, they do have Magirna, and obviously I can hit them with Dire Claw, uh, and they could potentially Earth Power me. But I'm going to go for Close Combat anyway, just because I'm Choice Band. And they end up Terra Stealing there. Oh my god, Sneasler, I look like a god. And they gave up their Terra as well. So Reggie Lucky now can never beat uh, Landorus. Well, Terra Blast will still do a decent chunk. But it'll never actually knock it out in one hit. And now they have no Earthquake switches at all. So I literally like God there. No point in getting up rocks. I don't know why they gave this thing up. Maybe they're trying to set up with Magirna in front of me. Because technically Magirna can still win because it is Magirna. Oh, that's that Zamazenta version. Uh, I'm going to click Earthquake as they Iron Defense up. We'll taunt them here. That way they're forced to hit me next turn. With the Body Press. And what I can do is U-turn on Body Press. I'll tank it. Jeez, that did so much damage. I'll take it. And then I'll go out into my uh, Regieleki and just Volt Switch around, basically, using it here. A lot of the mons on my team, I'm not sure if they're going to stay OU. Oh, actually, two of them. Regieleki and Sneezer. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll Volt Switch here. And what do I want to sack here? Samurott's pretty useless, but I am Terra Fairy, so that may make a difference. No, no, no. Samurott's literally useless in this game, so I'm throwing it away. Throwing that dude away. Also, we want to make sure they kill me. That way they can't go for rest or anything and get annoying. Even though, I guess it ends next turn. So, we'll Volt Switch one more time with my homie Regieleki. And then we shall bring out the Sneasler because if Magirna comes out, I am tricking it. I'm tricking it a choice ban. Or switch or ruining it. If they go Sneasler, not even sure what you're trying to kill me with. You got Acrobatics? Raw? Like, what you what you doing here? I don't know what's happening here, so I'm going Landers. Now look at that little Dire Claw. That's a crit Dire Claw. They do put me to sleep, which is very funny. Uh, however, we can go Golden Go now. And then just click Shadow Ball versus their team. SD doesn't matter. They're not going to be able to knock me out with anything. I'm just going to Shadow Ball. Yeah, the SD U-turn. So their last one was probably Close Combat. Um, you can see sometimes Acrobatics on that. You can see like... Oh, there's so much damage. What up? I'm going Shadow Ball again and then make it rain and get my kill. They can shift gear up all they want. What you killing me with? I'm still faster with Regieleki, so they can Drain and Kiss as well. Like, I'll get my... Basically, I'm going to out-damage them. I'm going to out-damage them. I'm going to hella out-damage them. Plus, we have Recover as well. So, let me Recover up, because they're getting a little dangerous there. Let me just make it rain. Doesn't matter if they combine up. I'm plus 3. Like, this is going to do, like, 60? 70? Yeah. 65. They Drain and Kiss crit me last turn. Nasty Plot again. We get one up. Make it rain again. Basically, I always have Regieleki to be able to beat them, so I'm not that worried about this mon. And they still can't kill me. So I I, I keep it low, and then Regieleki will be faster and can knock them out. If this doesn't knock them out, which I, I figured it would. So perfect there. Sneezer comes out. I'm going to bring out my uh, Landers because they can only go for U-turn. They can't Dire Claw or do anything from there, which is kind of funny. And um, basically, I don't want them going for like close combat on Burden, but I doubt it. It's that set. We'll stay in once. They drain punch me. That's fine. Uh, I want to see how much damage I do. I, I literally want to see how much damage I do with close combat. Because I'm choice man. 56 ain't bad at all. That's good damage. Anyway. What I can do now, just to make sure this guy doesn't sweep me, is bring out you. Vault out into you. On drain. That way they don't get the boost. Then just shadow ball. And there's no way for Sneezer to get unburdened activated here because it can't CC me since I'm a ghost type. 
Yep. Then we bring out Regieleki and we should win the game right here with Vol Switch because my homie is going to take way too much damage. All right, that was a really, really fun first game. And we got the easy kill on Enamorous. Not easy, but it was, it was a really surprise kill, right? But obviously Sneasel did it. But in that situation, that's kind of what Sneasel does, right? It's going to U-turn around and do things like that. In this one, my Rest Talk Samurai is pretty interesting um, because it's bad. <laughs> Yo, but I'm using the Seizure again just because I can always U-turn. I'm new turning. I don't care if you scarf. If you're scarf, I'll be very sad. Up oh, there's scarf. Good thing I scouted. Very, very good scarf. Very good scout on my part. Very good scout on my part. They have zero switch into this dude. They actually have zero switch into this guy. Because I can always hit Landers with a Terra Blast if I Terra after. So I'm not gonna do it now. I'm gonna go out into my Landers just to like see what they do. Because they might switch out into Magirna here on Landers. And if they Earthquake, I could get up rocks as well. I don't want to Terra Blast immediately. All right. They rock up. That's fine. I'm going to rock up too. Corvi comes out. They're going to U-turn, right? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm trying to think of a situation where I don't let Sneezer come in for free, but I always go a uh, Heatran here. Because, I mean, Samurai, assuming Samurai is the more threatening Pokemon that's coming out right now. I do have my own that can kind of just spike. Spam? Oh, look. They decide to bring out, I'm going to kill a Pokemon on your team. Now, I happen to bring a team that is super, I'm going to kill your Pokemon. A bull. So, this is going to be very, very fun. Goodbye, Samurai. You deserve a good rest. You don't wall anything on their team. Yep. Nice job. All right. It's time. CC time. Maybe Poison Touch. I'll get it on Landorus. It's going to do a lot to Corviknight as well. It actually will too at KO Corviknight just based on my damage as well. Uh, we know they're banded most likely because that's the GOAT way to use uh, Hisui and Arcanine. And again, I am still looking extremely good right now. That is so much. I don't even have to Terra, I think. And I got the po I don't even have to Terra Regieleki now. That's amazing. I don't even have to Terra Regieleki now. That's so good. I'm going to CC again. Well, at this point, maybe they don't actually switch. Because I don't even kill it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just go Landers. Because I don't have to Terra to kill this guy. Which is nice. And they're going to take Rocky Helmet. Yeah, they died a regular uh, Terra Blast. Which is like the big pro of using this. Uh, this thing can still switch in on attacks. Golden Go is good for literally every Pokemon on their team. Um, yeah, I'll give them this. They got me. Anyway. We Electro Ball here to knock you out. If they go Lando... I'm good after because I can just click regular Terra Blast and kill them. Like I said, this Mon, and, and I kept my Pokemon from Magirna, right? I don't know if Rapid Spin does 10, but I know regular Terra Blast definitely does. So there's Regieleki picking up two giant KOs. We're going to Vault here into Golden Go. 44 is insane damage. As they flurry immediately. I'm going to recover because Hisui and Samurai might come out. But the way I'm winning this game is Regieleki. And I want to make sure that Golden Go is healthy for for Corv, for any of these guys. Oh, they're probably going to go for their dark move. Yeah, why not? They're going to go for the water move, actually. I'll let Sneasler die. Oh, they went for the dark move to get up the spike. I'm completely fine with that because now I can CC as their sucker punch. Ooh. Okay, gets a little bit scary here. Gets a little bit scary here. I think I Electro Ball, though. Because I'll live one sucker. Perfect. So we get that kill. Sneezer comes out. I don't know what's about to happen here, but I'm going Golden Go because I'm a little bit terrified of some random Terra or something. There's a Dire Claw. Nasty Plot up. That should allow me to beat Corviknight. And I'll always kill Magirna as well at plus two. Technically, I could double Shadow Ball, but God, this is why I kept Golden Go alive. For this particular situation. They terror? I don't remember if they terrored. I don't even know. But I don't think they did. I remember all these mon attacking. It's cool to see Sucker Punch though on, on Samurai. Samurai's are so sick, man. I want to use that mon soon too. But I know Blunder's using it, I think, today, so I'm gonna give him Oh wait. I think he's using it today. I could be wrong. I try to like, you know, be courteous of what my friends are using, because we all want to use we all want to core, we all want to do different things, right? So we'll recover here because they can't do any damage to me anyway. Let them U-turn. 
Sneezer, and they, they forfeit because at this point, Sneezer can't even go for Switcheroo. So that Sneezer gets walled. My Sneezer got the poison on Landorus to open up the uh, the Regieleki sweep, basically, in this game. We'll pause it. We'll be right back with another game. So this is a very scary matchup, but this is probably one of the better Samurott matchups just because I'm special defensive and they have this guy. Uh, is that guy or girl version? That's guy version. Okay, so it's the physical version. That's actually still very, very scary. Uh, zero Regieleki answer. So I'm leading off with that Pokemon and clicking Volt Switch with Regieleki. That is 100% my answer. Like, they're probably Thunder on this build with Pelipper, which makes it even scarier. I could see them being Terra Ground immediately, though. You know what? Let's just go Sneasler. I like you turning around and then going from there. Because the Samurott's getting up spikes is going to be so uh, sick. It ignores Magic Bounce, if you guys didn't know. Because it has nothing to do with Magic Bounce. Well, let me just lead off with this Demon. Screw it. I'm leading off with this Demon. We'll go Landers. They're going to Terra Blast. Do I Terra and click Earthquake is the question, though. Nah, we go Heatran on the Terra Blast. Yeah, that was very, very telegraphed. Uh, they're going to Volt here. Can't really stop that, so. Yeah, alright. Oh, that wasn't even specs from before. That might have been modest from before then. Damn, that did absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, Heatran does exactly what we expect it to do every single time. Now I know I can Terra Water in front of I probably should have Terra Watered and then clicked Earthquake in front of that, but it's fine. I'm just going to sack this thing. Because I figured they U-turn, so I want the chip on this guy. And this is where no switchings come to play, so. Yeah, you can go ahead and get that kill versus me. We'll bring you out here, and we'll click our Ceaseless Edge, which lets us start getting up Spike versus the opponent. And again, this is like a Mon they don't like switching into at all. I really, really, really... Oh, this would be great. If they give this to me, oh, that's hella good. This is great. Mon's a threat, though. It's 100% a threat, especially if they Terra Water. Land, please, Ceaseless Edge. I need you to land. All right, so we get two layers of Spike up, which is nice. Uh, they can definitely spin versus me, though. Especially with the defense drop. I'm going Golden Go on the Rapid Spin. Landorus on the uh, Landorus on the Thunder or Volt Switch. And I'm a Terra Water and Earthquake, and this is going to work out for me. I'm, I'll take it. I'll take it. 100%. I'll, I'll take this 9 times out of 10. Should have done this initially, but we get rid of the two giant threats. They do have a Backscalibur, which I kind of wall. Oh, I super wall you. A yeah, nice Earthquake, huh? I wall you as well. Get on my rocks too. Shoot. Take some rocky helmet and some damage. Yo, what I do is... And you know who's crazy late game? With Golden Gold gone? My best friend. My best friend. You can nuzzle me all you want. I'm still faster than you. Let me you turn out of there. Let me bring on my best friend. His Sui and Sneezler to clean up in the end game. Woof. Rain's kind of fun, man. Rain's kind of fun. I'll, I'm not going to lie. Rain Rain looks kind of nasty this generation. All right. Finally, a real Hisuian game. Let's get it. We always lead Lando into this. We want rocks up. Uh, there's Spinner's Regieleki, but we can always switch out into Heatran. Worst case scenario. Um, our Regieleki is always a threat. I do think this mod's going to be banned just based on the fact that I have to play a certain way always with it. But I could be wrong. Anyway, we always go Lando into Lucky games. Perfect, we get up rocks here. What if they Terra Blast Ice? Then they can't Terra with the other one. What am I even saying? Uh, they're going to U-turn, right? I should have taunted. I'm really speedy. This is not a situation I like. I mean, Golden Go is amazing in this game, though. Don't get me wrong. I'd rather them U-turn and take the chip, so that way Reggie Alecki can kill them later. Uh, I know they're going to go Champau now, the Demon, and probably cr cr click Crunch. Um, oh, it's Banded too. That's great. And I... It's you turn Yeah, okay, perfect. I was like, they're not going to go for the Ice move because I have a Heatran in the back. So I got literally the best case scenario there. And we know their choice, which means I can go out to Reggie Alecki. I want to say Rapid Spin kills, but I'm just going to Terra Blast to be safe. This is the good thing about Regieleki, right? Before it's options to hit Landorus upon switching, where um, before it's options to hit Landorus upon switching, we're Swift, Hyper Beam, and Ancient Power. But now I have a, an 80 base power move always, and I have no point. And there's no point in me terrestrializing there because I can just click this later. Again, 
And once again, I always click Earthquake because I'm trying to get the chip on Lanners for when it U-turns, uh, plus the Rocky. So now it dies to Terra Blast. You see what I mean, guys? Like, I'm, every play has a purpose. Every single play has a purpose, what I'm trying to do. And Chiampao dies to Rocks. Their spinner is Regieleki. Nothing on their team kills me. They just have Regieleki if it comes in, and I will Terra Water in front of that. Actually, I don't have to. This could have Ice Move, I guess. Go Golden Go here. Iron Defense up. I don't know how much you're going to do to me, but I'm just going to click Shadow Balls repeatedly because your team doesn't look like it has switch into this attack. Also, if they switch out, they don't get that immediate defense. Yo, that did so much damage. But you can't boost your attack, so unless you have how. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. Okay. I want this month for Magirna, but I don't think I, I think it's too greedy to try and save it. So I'm just going to get the damage off on it. Perfect. And I get a spit F drop, which is amazing. So I can actually knock it out now with uh, Volt Switch. For sure. Cool. How do I want to do this? I think it has to be Sneasler, because if they go Magirna, I have to trick it. If they go Regieleki, I stay in. If they go Lander, I kill it. I think Sneasler is the play. This mod's really interesting, because I feel like high key, it's super nasty. But I just have a bunch of broken mods on my team. Okay. We're going to go Lando here on Thunderbolt. And we're going to obviously expect the very, very super obvious Terra Blast Ice as they've been doing a billion times and kill Reggie Ele It didn't kill Reggie Alecki. Wait, that doesn't matter, actually. Doesn't matter. You know a guy like me? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I don't even know what you're going to. Like, what are, you, what are you going to here? What do you do here? Because Lanners dies, right? I made every play to make Lanners die. Provided this isn't some set that 6 0 Heatran. Oh, it's not. It's per perfect. It's not some set that 6 0 Heatran. We're very good. We're looking very, 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 very good. Very good. It's Volt Switch. We're looking extremely good right now. Dude does not kill me for nothing. I'm just going to go for Terra Blast just in case they Volt Switch out into Lanners or something. Because um, I can get the kill on this one. Regular Terra Blast. Perfect. Glow King comes out, but we have Samurott, and these are just free Sleesis Edges to get up spikes to pressure, um, to pressure Magirna a bit. Yeah, and I'm sorry, my friend, you don't have Defog at the moment because they decided to mess you up. So you can go ahead and switch out into whatever, and I will just get up more and more spikes to mess you up. Yeah, you turn out that game. All right, perfect, perfect. This has been really telegraphed, but I'm actually really surprised Reggie Alecki lived. I didn't realize that it that's an option. This guy's a Zapdos. Um, that mod's interesting because I feel like it gets nothing at the moment. Detect. Yay. Roost, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch. That's Terra Blast, I guess. I don't see... It does have Hurricane and Heatwave. Okay, I lied. It actually has a good, uh, good move pull still. Very good move pull still. I'm really liking Reggie Alecki, man. God, this mod's so sick. This mod is so sick. Landers comes out. Maybe they scout for the Terra Blast. I always go my own Landro. If they U-turn, it's annoying, but I think I, this game's gonna be me getting up like spikes with Cecil's Edge on like Dragapult and stuff. There's a U-turn chip. Because basically the thought process is if I Terra there, then it doesn't matter. And this is where Pal comes out. Um, Pal switching is looking like... Any. They could Sacred Sword immediately too. The SD there. I think this kind of sweeps me. Where's my Where's my option for this? SD Sacred Sword. I get the defense. They do too much damage to me. They would have to be Sucker Crunch. They would have to literally be everything I think to beat me. Right. I'm not gonna take this very well, but. Alright, they're life orb. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so I get chip on them, which is very important. They can go for the ice move now, though. There's ice spinner. I'm making the Lanners play. If this doesn't work out for me, I lose, but... I don't think you go for ice spinner again. I think you sacred sword. 
All right, cool. We managed to beat the TM Pal Demon. Also, we're an ice. Uh, we're a we're a fairy type, so like we're pretty decent versus their team, regardless, right? God, that mom was threatening. Ignore you completely. You don't have a Reggie Lucky. I do. <laughs> Let's get up all these spike now, cause I'm spadef. Just ignore you completely. That mom was a threat, but I, I don't got. I mean, I I have, I have Golden Go, right? I, they don't have Default on their team. Damn, offensive Rotom. Okay, I see you. I see you, offensive Rotom. Holy. Holy. I need to save this. I'm like playing super. Eh, no, I don't need to. Mmm. Sneezer looks pretty good. I'm going to click Dire Claw here because they can't kill me one hit. And if I could potentially sleep or paralyze Landers. I have Balloon Golden Go as one pivot, right? So on the Earthquake, I have a play I can click. They can also go out into this. If, I don't know which Zombies that is. Did it say Crown or not? It just says Asterisk, so I have no idea what that is. Sleep. Volt Switch is fine. I get damage on it, so it dies. Lando comes out and can click Earthquake here. I definitely think this is still super winnable because they have no Shadow Ball switchings. And if Landers is Scarf, Rock Damage is going to be insane. Why would you not go Landers and click Earthquake? It's definitely not Scarf, though. It's definitely uh, Rock's U-Turn. I feel like there's no reason not to go Lando. Also, this, to, to know that CC KO'd that is insane. Very strong Pokemon. Very, very strong Mon. Well, it's offensive, right? All right. Air Balloon Golden Goal time. I need you, bud. Earthquake. You click You click Earthquake. I'm not sure what they're thinking about. You click Earthquake. <laughs> yeah. Right, so we make it rain here. Actually, Shadow Ball is always the best play. I don't want to make waste my make it rain on Rotom, which is what I assume they would be sacking there. All right, so if it's offensive Landers, it gets two shot now by Terra Blast regular. As long as I keep Golden Ghost Balloon alive, we're good. Dragapult comes out. I always go Heatran on you. Because Dragapult only needs me to hit one Magma Storm. If it's Dragon Dance, okay, it's two turn two. It didn't even attack, which is amazing. Like, I'm actually, this is so good because it's putting itself in range of Volt Switch later. It's putting itself in range of everything. Zamazenta is going to be a problem, though, if it comes out. Landers comes out. Make it Earthquake first. Okay, perfect. I got the call right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You got to leave a life for that play, man. Even though I said I completely doubted my own play. But hell yeah, man. We taunt there. That way they can't roost forever. They can discharge or do whatever. None of that crap matters. It's just mainly them not being able to roost forever is important. So get another uh, get another little Magma Storm off here. If they Volt into something, that'd be great too. The, the Hazards are great. I would love them to be Volt Switch. If they were Volt Switch and no Discharge, because I know I'm about to get full Paralyzed. All right, this is great. One Terra Blast will kill them with Magma Storm. Oh, did I miscount the Magma Storm? I might have miscounted the Magma Storm. Okay, cool. It's still killed regularly. Awesome. All right, so Zapdos is gone. Landorus is going to come back in. If it clicks Earthquake, I get a Shadow Ball kill. I have to stay in here. I think I have to, right? They haven't Terra'd yet. Which is very scary. They may even double to Dragonfall here though, anticipating me to switch, but we'll take that. We go Regieleki now. And we Volt always. I gotta go you. Do I need the extra sack is the question? I think I do. Oh, they behemothed. I forgot this one is the behemoth version. Wait, this might be this might be bad. Though this could be just be not Scarf Landers and be Rocks. And I'm, that's what I'm hoping on. So I think I'm just hoping it's not Scarf and it's Rocks. I'm literally just hoping it's not Scarf. Oh, this is such a good game though. I'm enjoying this one a lot. 
I'm very much enjoying this game because I don't even kill Reggie like you know. Does Shadow Ball kill Reggie Lecky from full? If it's specs? I'm gonna run the cow. I, I really wanna run the cow, because if it doesn't. Let's just say physical attacker, whatever, same thing, it doesn't matter. Dragapult. Because if it doesn't, I might need the extra sack, 63% to Oko. Damn. I can't switch, so I have to make sure I go for Electro Ball. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We got the roll, we got the roll. Now it's a... Is it a 50-50 here? Because if I kill them and they're not Scarf Landorus, Sneasler gets the hit off and we win, don't we? Do I Terra Blast? If they're Scarf Landorus, I lose anyway, right? Is there anything to like show that they're Scarf or not? Did they switch out first before anything that I had? I'm trying to look because this is very important in game. Um, earthquake, Shadow Ball. Okay, let's see. If it's Scarf, it's Scarf. Right, if it's Scarf, it's Scarf. Also, I think I should have maybe tried to go for the Electric Ball. We'll find out right now. We'll find out right now. It's Terra Ground. Oh, you don't have to. You didn't have to Terra, dude. Damn, I'm at one percent. Good game. Damn, that was sick, man. That was still a really sick game. Oh, that was still a sick game. That was sick. That was a really good game. I really like that game. Like, I actually, like, even though I lost it, I very much like that game. Let's get another one. We'll get one more. Like that, I, I feel like I really had to try not to lose, and that is hard. <laughs> All right. Sneasler, good speed here. Gonna volt, gonna U turn around. This is like more of a balancey type of team with Magirna. So we'll definitely be able to, to U turn around here. We'll definitely be able to U turn around here and hopefully get us a nice quick dub because I got food coming in six minutes. And I did not time this correct. Should have paused it until we found one. Shouldn't be able to kill me in one hit, so I should get a free U turn here. Ideally, they go great. They U turn, they probably U turn too, right? They go great tusk. And ideally, I get the poison touch on them or. Which would be amazing, right? Because then it's poison, then it's not a switching. They spike up, that's fine. Because I go you freely. And Rapid Spin, always. Yeah, Tusk doesn't matter. I'm debating, do I Terra here? I kind of want to. I can get the kill immediately. But I'm going to go Landers first. Maybe they knock and go from there. All right, there's the Rotom, which I, I don't really switch in very well to with this team. Uh, but we do have rocks up, so Miascarada dies, which is very nice. Um, you turn though. Dragon on a balloon is really strong. On the hydro, yeah, I think we go you on hydro for sure, and we just Cecil's Edge to get up a spike. Even though this mon sits on Skeletor Edge, I'm pretty sure Reggie Alecki will sit on it too. I should be faster because of, well, actually that was Speed <laughs> left over. That was literally a Speed Tie. So I got the damage on Rotom, which is actually really nice. And then we can go hard into Golden Go here. And just click Make It Rain. Very free. Yeah, okay, so this is great, right? They're giving me their ground type, which is amazing. And I'm still not auto-losing to Dragonite just yet. So they gave me their ground type, which means I can Volt Switch forever. Magirna can obviously be a ground type. More importantly, my hazards are here to stay. However, I am extremely worried about Dragonite. Luckily, they went Magirna first, which is still a giant threat, right? I think I taunt you. Yeah, stop that. How dare you? How dare you? Hey, almost there. Can't you come away? Yes, I'll be down in when you're there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't, I don't know what you're saying to me. But all right, this mon's super strong here, right? They're gonna hydro here. Not really much I want to do. Reggie Alecki sweeps everybody though, so that's the important part. I need Amon to die. I need Samurott to die while this happens. Yes. Down. Yeah, I, I need I need Amon to die while this happens. So, because I can't let Dragonite set up for free because it's gonna sweep me. It's literally gonna sweep me. <laughs> no. 
This is funny. I know they're gonna win the speed tie now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a feeling. I was like, last time you protected, I won the speed tie. This time you protected, you win the speed tie. Don't know what they got into though, because I feel like Regieleki just cooks. Best case would be Dragonite comes in and takes Stealth Rock because it's banded. It's definitely not banded on this team though. But yeah, Regieleki just cooks. It's amazing. Also, being able to U-turn is super nice. I'm gonna go U and just Shadow Ball. Get some chip on this and then knock him out Regieleki right after. Perfect. Should be a free kill of Regieleki right after. Uh, the door. Just in case I don't make it. But yeah, this should be a free kill of Regieleki now with Electro Ball. This dude, unless this dude Terra grounds. No way. I think it's really interesting. Like this, this Mon, I, I think Lecky is not going to stay. I do not think Lecky's going to stay at all. I, ca I can't. I just can't see it. I can't see this Pokemon staying. Oh, you. Terra is too much. Terra is literally too much. Oh my God. Thank you. Yeah, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. Thank you for that. You're far too kind. Now all we gotta do it on Magirna is just click um Electro Ball. And then Voltage out into Rotom uh, into Sneasler so we can get the kill. And that'll be game. That'll be game. Nice. Alright. So Sneezer in this one overall. That was fine. It, it created opportunities for Regieleki, like the Dire Claw Poison and all that stuff. But Regieleki obviously was MVPing it up. Golden Golden Balloon was MVPing it up. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you let me know. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.